What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr Woz and in today's video I'll be testing another money maker from the Osiris wiki and this time it's Barrows. Now I'm going to go through all of these money makers no matter how tedious the task is and I'll switch things up depending on what you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Now according to the Osiris wiki you can make around 711k GP profit per hour but the GP per hour can increase a lot more if I get some Barrows items. Now regarding the XP rates per hour that will mainly come from my magic attacks as that's what I'll be using most of the time as well as my range and melee attacks occasionally. Now Barrows was released on the 9th of May 2005 and 15 years on it's still one of the best money makers in the game. It's also really fun PVM content and not just for low level players but for max players as well like me. Now there is a few ways to get to Barrows and I'm going to go through all of them from the fastest route to the slowest and I'm going to give you a screenshot to help you out. So starting off with the fastest method and you can cast a Barrows tablet spell in the Arceus spellbook which does require 83 magic and at least 60% in Arceus favour. Or you can use the Barrows teleport tablet and that will take you straight outside the entrance and you can buy them in the Grand Exchange. Alternatively you can build the portal nexus in your POH that is connected to the Barrows teleport and this will require 50 construction or higher. Next you can use the Mauritania legs 3 or 4 to bird the rot and running north through Morton towards Barrows. Next you can use a Kirill teleport to Canfist and use the Mikey hideout shortcut south of the pub and run south towards the rope bridge. Continue running south until reaching the swamp boaty and using a travel option to Morton and run east from there. Next you can use the fair ring code BKR and run in south east until reaching Swamp Boaty and using a travel option to Morton and run east from there. Now at 50 agility you can use the fair ring code BIP and go east and then south following the path through Morton. So as you can see there is a number of ways to get to Barrows. Have a look at that guys I've got my first elite clue scroll on the second Barrows chest. Let's complete this and see if I get anything good. And I get the elite casket and I make 76k, not great at all but let's move on to the requirements for barrows. Now there is some requirements as always to make this method really efficient so let's start off with the skill requirements. Firstly you will need a minimum of 43 prayer so you can protect from magic, ranged and melee. High prayer levels means fewer supplies used per trip. Having at least 70 plus in your combat styles to kill carols and your main source of attack style would be magic so having at least 75 plus is recommended so you can use the trident of the swamp and having a range level of 75 plus will be better as you can use the blowpipe. Now for the items you will need a spade to dig on the hills to fight the Barrows brothers, Barrows and house teleport tablets will be your best option to get to Barrows as well as banking or you can use the nexus in your POH. Taking a rune pouch with you is really handy as you can store the chaos, death and blood runes when you loot the chest. If you don't have a max cape, crafting cape or construction cape, you can use the ring of jewelings to teleport to the ferox enclave to regenerate your stats and bank. Now additional inventory items for those who are new to barrows, I would take at least 2-3 to three super restores as well as some food so you don't die. Optional items you could take with you as well is a super set, ranging and magic potion to help you out with damage. You can also take a holy wrench to help you with your prayer as it gives an additional 2% of your prayer points when you drink a dose of any prayer or restore potion. Now for the quest requirements there is quite a few but they will help when killing the Barrows brothers. So starting off is partial completion of Fairy Tale part 2 to access fairy rings, completion of the quest animal magnetism to use your Ava's backpack, completion of the quest Shades of Morton for access of the Shades of Morton minigame teleport, Completion of the quest in search of the Mikey for the Mikey hideout shortcut from Canvas to the Hollows. Completion of the quest making friends in my arm for the ability to build the fire of dehumidification in the fire pit in the swamp to negate the effects of the ghasts. Completion of the quest in aid of the Mikey for access to the bank in Bird the Rock. Completion of the quest underground pass for access to the Iban staff if you don't have access to a trident of the swamp or trident of the seas. And the last one is completing the hard Mauritania diary for unlimited teleports to Bird de Rot and 50% more runes from every chest you open at Barrows. This will increase your GP rates per hour, so a very, very important one to get. Now, there's so many gear setups for Barrows, ranging from the low end gear costing around 150 to 200k up to 400 mil for max gear. Now, I'm using more of the high end gear, so max mage apart from the boots, I have my void range with anguish and blowpipe. I have my Bandos, Ferocious Gloves, Torture and Dragon Claws for when I have to kill Carols. Dragon Claws is a really good option as you can kill Carols with two Dragon Claw specs as well as using Piety. 
If you don't have dragon claws or you can't borrow it off someone, you could just use a whip instead and that's just as good. Now to be honest there's not really a right or wrong way to kill all 6 Barrows brothers but if you want to do this the safest way possible then I would kill them in this order. So you have Darox which is the most dangerous for obvious reasons, then you want to kill Guffins, then Carols, Arims, Torags, then Vurex. You want to maze Darox, Guffins, Vurex and Torag and then you want to melee Carols and range Arims. So as you can see in the picture, you want to protect from melee against these brothers and range against Carols and mage against Arims. Now, as you're killing all the Browse brothers, there will be one that could be your tunnel and it will come up in your chat box saying, you found a hidden tunnel, do you want to enter? Now, technically you can enter and just rush to the chest to loot, but I would advise you killing all the Barrows brothers first to help with your overall loot. Now, whilst being underground anywhere in the Barrows area, the brothers' faces will occasionally appear on screen, draining your prayer points every 18 seconds, so killing the brothers as fast as possible helps save your prayer points from Darox, Arims, Carols, etc. when you're in the tunnels. So once all the Barrows brothers are dead, you can go back to your tunnel and enter, and all you need to do is run to the middle to loot the chest. Now some doors don't open and some do. This is always random but it is quite straightforward and you want to be somewhat fast to find the last Barrows brother using what prayer you have left. If you have any prayer potions in your inventory then you're fine. Now as you're going through the tunnels there's various monsters such as skeletons, bloodworms and rats and at random the remaining Barrows brother will spawn and attack you but the last brother could be at the chest so you will need to click on the chest once to bring him out. And once the last Barrows brother is dead don't loot the chest straight away as you need to get enough potential to gain as much GP as possible. Now the chance of finding pieces of Barrow's armour or weapons is determined by the number of brothers you have killed before opening the chest. Now you can gather potential by killing the Barrow's brothers and by killing the other monsters in the tunnels which is what I mentioned before. The reward potential is equal to the combat level of the monster that was killed. So for every Barrow's brother that was killed you will receive an extra 2 points on the rewards potential. Now you don't have to get 100% potential to get the most out of your chest but as long as the percentage is in green text that is all you need. If it is in yellow text make sure you kill a few monsters until it turns green. I think the lowest potential you can start looting the chest is at 73% so it doesn't matter if you're at 73% or 100% the loot will be the same. Now the door that leads to the central room where the chest is will be locked with a simple puzzle which could be one of four types and must be solved in order to pass through. The answer to all types of door puzzles are shown here. Now if you do get the puzzle wrong, the doors and the rooms within the tunnels will shift around, meaning that the exit ladder will be in a different room and the doors that can be opened will be in a different order. This means you'll have to continue going through the tunnel until you find a door that leads to the central room again. You also have to be fairly fast as the monsters in the tunnel can attack you whilst doing a puzzle which can be annoying. So once you've killed all the Barrows brothers and got enough potential, you can loot the chest and hopefully you will get something good. Now it is possible to get more than one Barrows item per chest, as I've had three Barrows pieces in one chest a few times. Now after looting, the tunnel will start shaking, which over time you'll start taking small amounts of damage occasionally, which means you will need to teleport out to bank, regenerate your stats and start all over again. Now I know I spoke quite in depth on how to do Barrows, but hopefully it has helped you out, especially for the newer players. So before I go into the price check, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks like always to make your Barrows runs more fun and most of all more GP per hour. Now in no particular order, the first tip is if you log out or disconnect, your Barrows run progress will be saved. Now I like this feature a lot as when I used to do this back in the day, my PC wasn't the best and I used to go into internet cafes as well and I did use the DC quite a bit. Or sometimes I might have to log off for dinner or I might have to do other housework etc. And when you log back in, your progress will be saved and you can continue where you left off, so I find that really cool. The next tip is when you're in a tunnel, using the strange old lockpick, you can ignore all the random paths and head straight to the middle room where the chest is, making trips faster at a cost of a charge when passing through the locked door. This is really cheap at the moment, costing around 35k, but it does come with 50 charges. You can also get this from the agility course called the Hallowed Schlepter. I can't say the word, but you can get that from there as well. The next tip is using the Barrows plugin on Room Night and turning this on, as well as ticking all the options, will show you where all the Barrows brothers are located, as well as how many brothers you have killed on the left hand side, also showing the potential underneath as well. 
and the best part is that it shows you the answer to the puzzle when you're going through the last door to get to the chest which highlights in green and it will also show you a prayer draining timer as well as the value of the chest when you have looted so a nice plugin to use. The next tip is making sure you kill all 6 Barrows Brothers since the number of loot rolls and the chance of Barrows equipment increases for every brother killed so quite self explanatory that one. I really do enjoy Barrows as I mentioned at the start of the video it's really fun and it's a good bit of PVM content. I would love Jaggets to create something similar to Barrows just to add some new fun PVM content in the game. I've also done Barrows for 10 hours which is one of my older videos if you want to check that out in the top right of your screen now. I did manage to make quite a bit of money and RNG was definitely on my side that day so if you want to check that out have a look. So I'm coming up to the last chest now of the hour and let's see if I get anything decent. Ah 100k. Ok so let's tell you out and price check everything that I have made. Ok guys so here is all the loot that I got within 1 hour of barrels so let's price check this and see how much I have made. 1.2 mil Jesus that is really really good. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get a Barrows item just because I wanted to show you how much you can make without an item so 1.2 mil is amazing. But let's minus the supplies which I use and surprisingly I only use 391 charges from my trident which is 175k and 121 adamant darts as well as 319 Zora scales from my blowpipe which comes to 65k so just under 240k in supplies but my total profit is still 960k so really really nice. I also gained 6.5k in strength xp, 16k xp in hit points, 15.1k in range xp and 13.7k in magic xp. I thought I would have gained a little bit more but there you go. So let's go back to the OSRS wiki and it was saying I can make 711k GP per hour and I made an extra 250k which is amazing considering I didn't get a Barrows item. So my profits from my last video ended with 9.37 mil and after this video which made me 960k my total profit now is just under 10.1 mil so really happy about that. So if you're looking for one of the best money makers in the game where it's to rebuild your bank or if you're low level or even for a high level player then definitely do Barrows in no time you'll make a lot of money. So that is the end of the video guys if you've liked this video make sure you give this a big thumbs up like always comment below on what money maker I should be testing next and subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on those notifications so you'll be the first one to watch my videos until next time I'll see you guys in the next video.